Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Is there anything more refreshing than the next morning after a big thunderstorm? You walk outside and it feels like everything's been ionized. And you're going, oh my God, it smells so good out here. You look into the forest and you see the deer. You see the squirrels. And you just feel like that you're part of something so universal, but you're only this much of the story. Everything else around you is so much larger and more important. But just to be this much of the story allows you to breathe in and just feel like, wow, we belong together. It's like jazz. It really isn't supposed to work, but it does. How? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am a silent wolf, the wolf that sits underneath the brush and watches life, documents things that are moving, and finds peace in all things that aren't moving, to motivate, to inspire, to help create, to take down if need be, to build up when we need to be. This is The Daily Mess. I have a coworker at my essential job. He is a hardcore Southern preacher. Now, if you need to do some research, please do. Because when we talk about Southern Baptist preaching, we're talking about fire and brim, baby. We're going all the way. And he is not afraid to let that that monkey loose. What he brings up in conversation is the type of stuff I was accused of spreading during my final moments of terrestrial radio. Except I didn't put the word God, Jesus, or anything like that inside my conversations. All I wanted to do was inspire people to believe in their own creativity. We do it all the time right here on the Daily Mess, on The Choice, the lyrics to Billy's Forest. It's all about creativity. I want to build you up. But some people were offended by the way that I try to inspire others to believe in themselves enough to have the courage and the confidence to grow as a creative person. My intentions were to be positive and to use positive thinking as a tool. Learning that not everybody wants to be positive. I, I, I learned the hard way because I was always pulled into those meetings. My coworker, though, he likes to bring up God and the way that God should be punishing people. And that God of the Old Testament is the one that should be in control of not only this nation, but the entire world. And he uses the verses. Man, I'm standing there going, Oh my God, <laughs> please help me. And because I, I just want to listen. Uh, maybe he's got this on his chest. Maybe he's practicing something like a comedian practices or a musician practices. And because I do study the word, maybe I just have been called to be in that moment. But but the thing is, is that he brings it. He brings that word. And, and I sit there and I wonder if this is a form of religious abuse. And I had to look that up. And, and, and what I'm, I'm not accusing him of that, but I know that he's not the only one who does do that because the experts say that a person who brings religion to work, you cannot fire them for that. All you can do is invite them to calm, calm down. Just calm down. Or as, as a regular everyday person, if we know what they're speaking of when you come in contact with them, then don't come in contact with them. Do everything you can to keep your conversation short, to the point, hey, how you doing, and move on. I do listen, but I also do not compete against him. What I'm taught in my church versus what he teaches in his church, we, we don't talk about that because it's two completely different things. Same God, just two completely different things. Who's right, who's wrong? We're both right. And I think that's what we need to do in this world today is quit taking sides and believe in each other's strength on whatever God you bring into your life. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.